Okay, I'm going to cut my hair. I had to readjust this so that you guys can see. <laughs> this, is, this is a hell of a makeshift stand, I tell you. So, anyway, my hair is pretty long. Not extremely long, but it, long enough for it to be irritating. And I want to cut bangs in because my bangs are very, very long. And every time I'm at work, they're constantly in my face, so I have to put it back in a ponytail. I'm tired of it. My hair is breaking. I don't know if y'all can see that or not, but my hair is breaking from having it in a ponytail all the time because it pulls right there. And that's the only place where I'm losing not really losing hair, but breaking off and it keeps regrowing into these little bitty tiny sprouts. And right up here, there's a few, but not many. So anyway, I've done this before. I don't go to a salon hardly anymore. I'm, I'm, I'm not about spending the money. It's just not something I'm thrilled with. So, I cut my own hair. And I'm not picky, so if it's not perfect, I don't really care. <laughs> you know, if it's not perfect enough or good enough, use the word good enough, then I'll just let it grow out and do it again. <laughs> so, which is what I did this time. I didn't mess it up last time, but... I definitely did a cut that I didn't appreciate so and I mean I have a lot of hair not only do I have a lot of hair but my strands are very very thin very thin but I have just so much of it people who have highlighted my hair people who cut my hair stuff like that they literally tell me are you growing this crap while I'm doing it because it, it's never ending I said yeah I know it's you know they even charged me I think it was that visible changes I went in there and got um, a highlight and I told them I wanted it all through my hair and so they did it and they charged me more because I had so much hair I was like well, okay, whatever, you know, I'm not really sure if I want to go like this or if I want more. I mean, this right here is just the front of my hair. I'm going to have to get up in the mirror. Hold on. I'm going to go right like this. I don't really care too much about straightness because I have so much of it I can pretty much fake it if I screw it up. I kind of bring the top of the V over towards this way a little bit because I part my hair right like this. So I have a lot of my hair on this side. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut right here, right in the curve of my nose, maybe a little bit lower. I'm cutting it dry because I don't, my hair does shrink and extend quite a bit when it's wet. 
So not shrink, but it, it does shrink when it dries quite a bit. So I don't want to take a chance in it being really off so much to where it's annoying. I'm taking just a little bit more over here. Okay. Now, this is quite a bit of hair to cut, but like I said, I have a lot of it. And I can tell that just from the breakage, this side is thinner. I should take a little more maybe this time. Nope, that's as far as back as my as my peak goes. If I take this right here out no. so that it's not so much over here. Come on, you see the hair. There we go. Okay. Now that I don't have my glasses on, I have to get really close to the mirror. <laughs> I don't really care, honestly. Now, some people always say, oh, go go long so then you screwed up. You have a little bit to work with. I don't really do that. <laughs> I just do what I want to do and leave it. See how much static electricity is in my hair all the time. I hate that. And we're going to make it a U, so. We're going to kind of, I can barely see since my hair, these are the two points I want. most part I don't mind cutting my hair if I screw it up I don't care um, there's quite a bit of hair to work with on my head <laughs> Now I'm going to blend it down into my sides. I don't know how well you got it. This might be a complete video fail as far as showing you guys. And every time I cut it short, everybody's like, oh, your hair looks so good short. And then they realize how much hair I have, and they're like, oh, when are you going to work grow it out again? <laughs> and I'm like, yeah, I, uh, I told you it was a lot of hair. It's a lot of hair for it to be that short. Yes, I know. So, I'm just going to bring it down like this. Kind of blending it in a little bit. Now 
take this you want to kind of blend that in so that it's not quite a point cut up a little bit. There. That's better. Okay. Now, this side. And this side's a little different because I have less hair on this side. I just have so much hair. If I didn't have so much hair, I wouldn't I wouldn't feel bad for going to a salon and getting it cut, but most people are just kind of like, oh God, here she comes, you know? <laughs> She's the one with a lot of hair. Yeah, I know. I've got a lot of hair. That's better. Okay, so now I'm at work. I just put it behind my ears and I don't have a bunch of strands falling down on my face. That's good. I can handle that. It's a lot better. My hair naturally goes back. Naturally, so that's a lot better. The only time it goes down or forward or something is whenever I actually blow dry it forward. Other than that, it just goes back. And that's good. So that's how you cut your bangs. You just take scissors and snip them. Don't be afraid of it. Why? It's here to grow back. Anyway, thank you. And if you like this, uh, this um, video, click like below and subscribe. See you later. Bye.